Okay, so here's what I'm going to try to do later today. This is my Speed Freak rocket, which um, has an electronic um, speedometer on the uh, return capsule. So the thing is, this rocket is built as um, a very easy to fly, no assembly required kind of rocket. Um, rather than a high performance rocket, this is more for beginners and uh, for kids to get started in rocketry. But what I like about this is it will tell me how fast the rocket actually went because it's got uh, a digital speedometer built in to the nose cone so what I'm gonna do is so this is obviously a single stage rocket <coughs> and what I've done is I've I'm gonna try to launch this as a multi-stage rocket. So I've taped two SD's engines together. The lower one is obviously the B60 um, booster engine followed by another B engine at the top. This uh, cardboard wrapping is something that I had to fabricate uh, to prevent the, um, the engine from slipping out from the bottom without the cover because with the cover on it's not going to be possible to launch it with a booster uh, so I've wrapped this up with cardboard just to friction feed it uh, inside and um, I've, I've tried the feed out, it, it's great it's a very uh, tight feed um, which it should work great so I will be recording a video of the launch later today it's a very bright and warm day, so I hope to launch this at about 4 p.m. or maybe half past 4 this afternoon. Okay, I'm back here again in this wide open field, and it's a very bright um, afternoon at the moment. It's 4 p.m. Um, and this is my Speed Freak rocket, which you saw in the earlier part of this video. And that's my uh, modified two-stage booster rocket engine. Um, and as you can see, this is um, not a very good situation because that booster stage sticking out is actually very close to the deflector plate. And I can't... That's because the uh, launch lugs obviously rest against the, the tape there. And I can't adjust that because I haven't got spare tape with me. And the one there is threatening to um, tear off at any moment now. As you can see that, uh, that. So the tape is starting to tear off. So I haven't got much of a choice except to launch this and hope for the best. So um, it's a bit tight now. It is a bit tight. Um, I have a, I don't have a very good feeling about this. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to light it up and hope for the best. So that's still off, I'm going to turn it on now. Gonna be so gentle with this. Okay, so the uh, speedometer is ready. I'm just gonna go, go back on. I now I do have a bad feeling about this launching modified rockets is um, always very risky.
Oh, anyway, here we go. Before things stop working. Let's launch it. Continuity check is good. And I really hope uh, we will recover this rocket because I love it very much. So here we go now. <sighs> Moment of truth. Will the rocket launch up in the air? Will it go out of control and hit something? Or will the booster even separate? Um, will the upper stage even ignite? Uh, there are a lot of uh, questions to be answered, but we'll see. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. Awesome. Awesome. I I want to start track. Okay, the launch was a success. Definitely a success. I want to start tracking. Okay, I'm running towards the uh, upper nose cone that has the uh, electronic speedo on it. Unfortunately, the main rocket body seems to be floating far away. I think I might have just lost it. Lost the rocket on this one. Nope. Okay, the uh, rocket body landed right at the edge. Yeah. Which you'll see in a while. Alright. I'm really glad that both parts are still uh, within this field. Um, Here we go. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Right, so how fast did this thing go? 126 kilometers per hour. That's amazing. That's faster than it went on a single sea rocket engine. Which is very strange because as I mentioned before, two B rocket engines has the same amount of energy as a single C rocket engine, but a single C would obviously be lighter. So it should go fast, it should go quicker. Ah. And um, the speed that I got with a single C engine was just 101. 101 kph and this one's giving me a reading of 126 yeah so um, strange anyway here's the main rocket body and it was, it's quite close to the edge of the fuel it's quite close um, if the winds were any stronger I would have lost this definitely The whole thing seems intact. Okay, good. Thank God for that. Parachute's okay, the cords okay, nothing's burned. Of course the uh, engine motor is still stuck there. Cool, right, that was a good launch site. And it appears that for some reason as the rocket was ascending it it took the uh, top half of the launch rod off so that must have slowed the rocket down a, a bit um, but thankfully it didn't change the direction of the uh, the ascent because that would have been horrible but yeah once again very good launch and uh, thank god for the recovery of uh, this of the uh, rocket body and the uh, nose cone as well see you next time